Hello and welcome to Legal Translations, where we speak the language of your world. This is Jose Vega, your federal court certified interpreter. Well, today we are going to SpaceX, SpaceX, Brownsville, Texas. We're going to SpaceX and let's see what we can find there. Let's see what that looks like. So here we are on our way to SpaceX, Elon Musk's company, uh, with their space shuttles sending up satellites into space, and this is right in the border with Mexico, right on the border, it's just uh, very close, like a mile or so from the border, and uh, right on the Gulf, on the Gulf, right where the Gulf meets Texas and Mexico. So let's see what we can find over there. Let's see if we can uh, see any space shuttle. Maybe we can find uh, some space uh, shuttle there. Maybe we can see something in Mexico. Beautiful scenery. Sun is very hot down here. It's Texas, it's a desert. Uh, but it's a very nice, very nice area. So here we are, we're coming up on SpaceX on our left. This is actually Boca Chica, Boca Chica, uh, not South, pa South Padre Island, uh, which is very close as well. And I believe this is SpaceX. Uh, is that a rocket ship? It's two rocket ships. Okay, let's see, we need to zoom in on this. I'm gonna need to stop and get a picture of this. Oh, look at that, wow. It's, it, you can't see it in the, in this in the video. It doesn't do it justice. They're huge. I'm gonna try to stop and get get a close up of this. Uh, oh my gosh! I wish we could stop and and talk with somebody here. They don't have a visitor center. Look at the rockets on the left. Look at the rockets on the left. They're right there. I'll stop and try to get a, a better shot. You can see the tips of the rockets right there. Oh, beautiful. I want to stop right there. What? We can like drive up to the rockets? That's, there's no, there's no security or anything? Nah, I don't believe that. Really? There's no security. I'm going in. Okay, this is your federal court certified interpreter breaking the law. By the looks of it, there is no security to go into the rockets. We can go right up to the rocket and nobody will, con will say anything. Is that even possible? Is that even possible? Why do they have that there? Wow! Look at this! Amazing SpaceX! We are right next to the rockets. We need to turn around. Look at that. 
and I better get start getting out of here. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. For some reason, the security guard wasn't stopping anybody. He was just sitting in his booth. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me see if we can interpret. Interpret at SpaceX for him. Let me let me switch over the camera. Oh, well, thank you. I, we have an excellent security guard here at SpaceX. Uh, I'm a translator. I'm an official translator for the court system. I'm sorry, I'm blocking the, the traffic yes, yes. here. Uh, over here on the ground. Sure. This is a, I met one of the guys that, that uh, worked here over at the airport the last time I was here. Okay. Uh, can you say something? Do you speak Spanish? No. No? No. Oh, man. I wanted you to say something in Spanish so I can officially translate it for the channel. No. But, well. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, man. Thank you I, very I, much. I, Thank you very much. And I'm sorry if I went where I wasn't supposed to. I, it no, wasn't. No, no. no, like I said, I just, well, I saw you do that quick U-turn. I thought you were uh, <laughs> from one of the gates and got lost. No. So. That's good. That's good. Do they actually launch from here, right there, or they? Where do these ships launch no, from? No, no, no. That's the launch pad down there. The launch pad is down there, but yeah. these things are huge. They're enormous. Well, how do I get to the launch pad? Uh, you just gotta follow that road. Is there a ship right now there, like a, one of these? No. Okay, so I guess I got a good view of them right now. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. Stay safe, sir. Thank you. Well, that was great. That was great. Uh, the, the security guard was not a, a bad at all. He, he wasn't a jerk or anything. Very friendly guy. Uh, talked to us. Uh, so I, I appreciate that. Uh, just like the other guy that I met from SpaceX, they all look like very nice, very nice people, very professional at the same time. You can still be nice uh, while being professional. And that's the launch pad. That thing over there is a launch pad. There's no... Uh, ship right now. How do you call them? Rockets? There are no rockets right now over there. And we're heading over to the Gulf. And f the further we go, we're getting right next to the border and closer to the uh, to the water and, and the border with uh, with Mexico and the Rio Grande River. So let's see if we can we can uh, get a look of of what that uh, is like. There's the launch pad right there. Oh, beautiful. Look at the water. Oh, the water's right there. Make a U-turn. No, I want to stay here. bunch of pelicans and uh, seagulls fishermen do I see a bunch of fishermen over there what the heck is this people just get together to fish here okay well here we are this is where the Rio Grande ends and meets with the Gulf. And we have a bunch of people fishing here. Technically, that's Sandbank on the other side. Just a few yards past it, that's Mexico. And I don't see a way to get from the US to that side over there. So those people over there are in Mexico. They came over from the Mexican side. I thought there was a big wall, some sort of a wall in that area. 
I saw it in some video, but I don't see one right now. Let me go and ask these people that are here. I mean, these people come and fish here all the time. They must know what they're doing. See, so we have fishermen, lots of fishermen in, to, in the water itself. This is the American side. And I see a lot, lots of cars on the sand dune, on the sand bank over there. And people fishing on that side. We can walk over. We can literally walk over because there's low tide. I just saw somebody walk from this side over to the other side. Just walk over to Mexico. Well, technically that tip right there is still the US. It is the US. I just saw it on the GPS. So we need to go a few more yards that way to be in Mexico. Maybe it's not illegal. Should we cross? Should we not cross? Let me ask this gentleman here. I hope he can talk with me. Jefe, una pregunta, disculpe la molestia. Inglés o español? ¿Cómo está? Es la primera vez que yo vengo aquí, aquí tomando un pequeño video. Dígame, siempre vienen pescadores de aquí esta parte. Y una pregunta, porque veo que ahí está el, la arena bien baja y como que se puede ir hasta caminando hasta allá. ¿Pero este lado es México o es todavía Estados Unidos? Eso es México. So the other side is already Mexico. Uh, wow. Y, y entonces, ¿por qué es facilito cruzarte? Se ve bajo, pero está muy bajo. Ya, ya, ya. Es donde se enfoca. Aquí se mira, pero okay so this part here it gets it's it, because this is where the Rio Grande um, feeds into the Gulf it gets deep there's a canal it's a, it's a deep uh, section right there and it looks like the other side uh, like you could walk over but actually there's a sand bank on the other side and on this side but it gets to the person that's deep that would actually cover us so well so i actually did end up translating here on the on the border muchas gracias jefe muchísimas gracias de verdad está muy bonito esto muy bonito esto cuál es su nombre jose vega la orden Entonces, Francisco, ¿qué me estaba diciendo? Que esa gente de ahí está, está todavía... Eh, ¿Ellos han venido del lado mexicano a caminar hasta aquí? Sí, del lado mexicano. Este, llegan por la playa de México, Playa Baghdad. Y ahí se, se bajan. So, from Baghdad Beach, they come and they walk along the sandbank all the way to this side. Even though it's technically U.S. territory, there's a deep section that runs under the water. It won't let them come over to this side because it's, it's pretty deep. It'll cover uh, your height. Yeah, y entonces todas esas personas vienen a pescar aquí y son todos de México. Todos de México. Estados Unidos está de este lado, la, los pescadores. Mire, y toda esa gente ahí también pescando de México. Muy bonito este lugar, muy bonito este lugar. Así que, bueno, Francisco, un placer. Vale. <laughs> Hasta luego. Hello. Wow, what an experience that was. I really like it here. The freedom of being able to, even though it's, it's not allowed, just being able to cross and be so close to another country, though technically that is the US, uh, still, we're just a few yards shy of Mexico over on the other side of that bank. Just having people cross over, just there's a sense of freedom, even though you really can't you know, cross the border or do anything like that. There's an immigration checkpoint uh, up the road as I'm gonna be heading back to Brownsville. But it's just, a, at this moment, this place right now, uh, it's, there's a, a feeling of freedom, of uh, liberation, <laughs> and just being able to be in contact with people, fellow human beings, uh, Mexican culture, the, the nature, wildlife, it's just, uh, just great, great. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, as always, uh, like and subscribe here to legaltranslations.net where you can find 
tips and tricks for lawyers, law firms, court reporters, and the legal industry in general. Click on the notifications bell and visit us at legaltranslations.net where we speak. Huh? The language of your world.